ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Firehouse Chef. It's still winter here in the south, as you can see, although it's starting to kind of start showing signs of spring coming in, but it is still winter. And with winter, I really only think of one fruit to highlight, and that would be the forbidden fruit, the apple, everyone. So I thought today would make a very nice, simple, using primarily staple items, apple crisp, and top it with something a little different, but very easy to make, and that is something called dolce de leche. So everybody, let's get bacon. All right, guys, first things first, let's make the, uh, the dolce de leche. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, it is a very popular Latin American dessert, almost like a very rich caramel. It's spreadable, um, or you can actually condense it so much to the fact that you can just eat it straight. Uh, it, anyways, it's fantastic. What you do, it, it's basically milk and sugar reduced, but instead of sitting at the stove top and constantly swirling it and taking a long time, we're gonna do this the easy way, because for those of us who like to play, we have found that if you take a sweet and condensed can of milk and put it in some submerged water and heat it, there's a couple different reactions going on. You have some caramelization and something called the malleate reaction. We won't talk about it now. It's, it's basically amino acids and sugar combining. Anyways, what you get is the most rich, intense caramel flavor that you could possibly imagine. It's fantastic. But we're going to start this off in the water, submerge it, cover it, walk away for a couple of hours. I suggest the first time that you do it for maybe two or three hours, but you'll find that the longer you cook it, uh, the more intense and rich the flavor becomes. You extend it to four to five to eight to ten hours and you'll see the differences that the, you know, the dolce de leche comes out with. First time though, let's just take it nice and slow, two to three hours, put it in here, walk away, we'll come back and finish it here later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, quick warning when it comes to heating the condensed milk in the can. You will notice on the can, if you spin it all the way around, it actually tells you, do not heat this in the can. So I'm warning you, if you guys do it this way, please make sure that you allow the Dolce de Leche to come to a complete cool state. It needs to cool completely before you open it up. Otherwise, you will know what it feels like to have hot liquid magma all over your face. And I really, truly do not want that. So please, I'm just trying to release myself of all liability and love you all. So take care. So when it comes to the apple crisp itself, I mean, you can replace these apples with pretty much anything that you want fruit-wise, whether it's pears or strawberries and rhubarb. I mean, use your imagination. But everything else here is pretty much staple items with the no exception of the fruit and some toasted almonds. Now, I decided to add some nuts to this because it gives the crisp a, a nice good flavor, texture, and also it really rounds out the flavor of the apples really, really well. I went with almonds here. Of course, you can always go with the southern favorite pecans, walnuts. I mean, again, use your imagination. But everything else here is staple items. Nice, inexpensive. We're chopping a couple things up, throwing it in the oven, walking away for an hour. Doesn't get any easier than that. So let's put this all together.
so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, an apple crisp with a little bit of dolce de leche on the top. Hopefully you saw how easy both these two components were to put together. Apples, cutting them up, mixing it with a couple of things, throw it in the oven, walk away. Dolce de leche, water in a can, you're good to go. So, no excuses, but one side note, um, the Granny Smith apples are a little on the tart side, so I can see where some people will be kind of put off by it. So please, feel free to select any kind of apple that you want, um, Braeburn or Macintosh, others that I suggest, but anything that you want. Great winter um, dessert, spring, summer, autumn. It doesn't really matter to me, I'll eat it any time. So as always, so hopefully you like this crisp. Take it, mix it, and play with it as always, and let me know what you guys think. Until next time, y'all, stay hungry, my friends. And you think I was not going to eat any? That's ah, good. All right, so when it comes specifically to the apple crisp, or crisps, 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 is that even a word? <sighs> so when it comes to the apple crisp, or any crisp for that, for that matter, oh gosh.